Pinot Black, folks, and we have CME action out in space like crazy. So whether we end up safe here at Earth, and always try to open up with so you know what time I'm making this video. Basically, I got 1.37 p.m., 12.30 today, December, and I'll move it up here so you can catch links, okay? So we have uh, more than likely either the massive uh, object that I showed you yesterday on the little video just before this one, either and I would believe that that's what's catching fire because we got Jupiter here and I'm also going to pull you and show you an awesome shot of and basically I'm give you the time and shot on the shot on the 27th okay this stuff happened on the 27th look at 830 today on anything you can get a hold of and snapshot like a son of a buck because they're not going to let you see it much they're going to try to pull it down 830 a.m. Zulu time this morning get a hold of stuff and save it snapshot like a mother and record okay and also let me show you what's awesome at Jupiter keeping in mind folks sharing teaching data sharing political education sharing okay the Sun's getting his ass kicked look at this gigantic CME area okay or dead zone whether whatever way you want to look at it CME or dead zone okay this was taken in 1854 UTC and right now we've got 1831 UTC. I don't know if that shows up on my screen, but I can pull up when I hit earthquake down on my bottom ideal. I can see what time it is UTC time. So that's wrong because that's 1831. So check this out. That shot was at 1854, so we're starting to have clock differential. Okay, so that will go. I can. I got That's what I got to update that. So that must be a pretty. Yep, 1939, folks. So there you go. Always check your clocks. Okay, so it's 1939 Zulu time right now, and I know that it's 1:40 p.m. Just in time, to check it out and look at it. Sorry about that. Let's since we got the earthquake screen up here, we'll go ahead and we got the most recent down here is 4.9. And yes, the South Pacific, New Zealand area is getting its ass shook big. Okay, all that big action there. United States, big footprints. Remember, watch the footprints. These quakes seem to be bigger than what they're saying on the mag. So this is a very historical shot here, folks. Okay, Venus, as you see, splurches. Okay, what I was wondering when I had somebody give me the information, I just thought, well, I'm gonna have to tell him he's too bad he hasn't find nothing, but he did. Okay, so my friend that has notified me of this, basically, he knows who he is. I don't need to. I always keep confidentiality with names and so forth and so on. Okay, this is sharing data, our taxpayer dollars, we get these photos, okay? So you can see that either a volcano or something without a, uh, at Venus, has spurted out that there, okay? Because up here we've got the meatball, and we also get either solar flare action or the remnants of that there's another meatball below and we know that there is an object in space, folks, that's 744, 747 times the size of the sun. Okay. Now, this is the meatball. I don't believe that that's the object is 747 times the size of the sun. Now, I do know that that object is out there in space. So also showing you H1b, H1b also from the 27th, folks, and you also see the shadow of basically it way back deep in space behind. So we have seen footage, i.e. through my videos, of Jupiter getting a blast from the supergiant sun. And you have to realize it's the supergiants and the sun also giving all these flares because now you're seeing Venus do what it's doing, okay? A dramatic find, okay? Either a volcano or some kind of uh, hitting of their moons together because I, would, I, was gonna, I was noticing how big Venus was looking because it's, it's, it's basically its moons around it. Now, if I'm quoting wrong on the, if I'm making a mistake there at the idea that maybe Venus is the one that doesn't have any moons. I'm trying to remember. I did that the other day, I think. Now, I know Saturn has moons. Uh, so, anyway, no matter what, we have this action here, which is not a solar blast. Now, it could be electronic action through space, CME, making it do it. But we know that even... Earth is volcanic activity right now in our earthquakes like crazy. Okay, so things are matching up. So that the idea that Venus could be the secretive or been cloaking even from all the sciences and all the data, that the idea that it could have the closest possible 
something close to Earth, especially since it's so close to our same size, has been a very well hidden secret from all by all the damn scientists. Because the idea that there's something spurting out, but then the idea that okay, so Venus is not much inhabitable because the idea okay, if they have a volcano or if there's been bumping into one of its moons or whatever, as we see right here, that this is factual data. Okay, that their atmosphere is not like ours and it's too thin and doesn't hold stuff in. Now you see there are Mars. Now these are humongous spaces you can almost see infinity when you're shooting here because these deep darkness in space when you see dark that's deep hell out in space and that's why this all this star action and asteroid belt and everything is in front of the gigantic silhouette of the gigantic meatball all the way back behind Jupiter okay so and we pop back over we'll pop over to I believe I'm on that image and I'll get back over and look at Jupiter and the idea that you can still see the silhouette of the humongous goddamn meatball all the way back behind Jupiter, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Behind Jupiter and Mercury. And there also could be one on the opposite, totally opposite of Jupiter on the other side. Now, the only, Jupiter's the only goddamn thing that's even close to the size of the sun. So when you're looking at the solar flare CME action that's going on right here, you can start realizing that the idea that it's way more than the goddamn sun up there shooting its ass off. And then you get the darkness here silhouette from the CME action also, which is not shaded out by anything from NASA. And you get the natural light that the idea that there is a massive object right there closer in the view of the bazillions of miles in space up by the supergiants and the sun because we know Mercury is very close to the sun and we know the sun is flaring so the idea that there's a very dark huge object as big as the sun or bigger in the supergiants that's dead and not burning and not putting sun off right there okay something's there because something's creating that darkness out by Mercury didn't get shaded by the cameras or the shots to show you okay and then the idea that you have the idea of knowing that we know that the mil the meatball is in existence back there in space, either left or right, east or west, north or south of Jupiter, okay? Because you cannot miss it on this shot, okay? It's right there. There's the meatball, and it's how huge it is, okay? And there's Venus. And more than likely when you work on size and also then you got to look at what's going on with even the, a, a close planet or a star below whatever planet that that is, which when we know that that's Mars, the largest one would more than likely be Jupiter and it would be closer to the meatball. So it's I would say it's either this one here or possibly that one that's Jupiter, okay, and the meatball. But look at also all the other stars because they basically are bright. Anything that's a star is a big planet. It's going to have magnetism and be bright, like Mars, Venus, okay? So getting these, th uh, you know, it's still kind of, you know, it's theory, but I'm an electrician, and that's theory, but we look at our meters, and we get our readings, and that's fact, okay? So we're looking at our photos and our readings, and we can also go look at data. I've got data, but also the idea that they're slowing down our electrical data that we are seeing from as you see, it gets cut off. They're not keeping us up to date what's going on. We've got to pay attention to what they're telling us, what CME action we're going to get. Okay? And here's your kilohertz, megahertz. And we'll get into that and give you some kind of a little tutorial or a class on that in the future. Let me blow this up so you realize what I'm talking about. There you go. Okay? They get, we get graph action of the electrical currents in space. Okay? The electrical waves, stereo waves. Basically, what I mean stereo waves is the idea that the stereo uh, meters are giving us these readings. And then the idea, that's why you get that when there is a gigantic CME up in space, i.e. gigantic CMEs right here that you're seeing in space. But what's good about it is it's showing us objects that are in space on these shots that basically can't be hidden out. There's way more than one massive meatball because that actually shows you another silhouette there back up but we know that this is the meatball i.e. that's the meatball that's the goddamn meatball and there's probably way more than one okay and we know that there's an object that's 747 times the sun size of the sun out there and there's also stars in the supergiants main sequence and these solar flares are starting to make everybody realize that they're so humongous now that is just Venus putting a solar flare off there folks okay 
So I'm going to try to make a movie of the so shots and put in here. Okay, folks, the shots I'm most, mostly showing you are the, from the 27th. Now, this is from the 29th, okay, not today. So there's Jupiter, and but the idea, this stuff doesn't move around that much between the 27th to the 29th. It does, but the idea doesn't get out of order, okay? And we got the moon, we got Venus, the sun. So the idea that when we're, we we're showing you where they're shooting from uh, on, st on the stereo map, which I can pump that up, you're going to see from A is ahead, and B is behind, but they're both behind the sun right now, and they're both staying out of the supergiants, which are back over here, okay? So, you got Venus and Mercury for sure. So then we go back and look at the photos. So going back to my video that before this one, folks, if you realize what is between, that we found between Mercury and Venus, okay? And then we know this shot on the 27th shows... Okay, folks, I'm going to finish up just going through here because basically I'm getting tagged right now uh so basically i'm not being able to get to like when i as soon as i put the time in like i say they mirror us and i know the technic uh windows folks they named it windows for a reason they can always see what you're doing on your screen so when i'm in movies yes folks if you're in screencast and then carisoft you're just pissing me off today that's all so it's just this simple it's the civilian side of carisoft i am a u.s citizen and they cannot legally be screwing around with me without certain warrants so eventually the government's going to have to bend over and say what the hell they're investigating my ass for because i ain't doing nothing wrong okay nasa is not showing you everything they have a job to do that not to scare world markets and stuff like that what's going on so watch this here on solar we like them because they have a contract and we also like go to helio server and remember 8 30 today folks and it is the 12 30 of December 2 11 p.m. Central Standard Time and there is your axis on the South Pole off and North Pole is still off towards the North American content net okay so Earth is still doing a pretty good little twist okay and the, the, the findings that I found on the video earlier uh, and then pay attention to where all your satellites are at Remember how far or where out, find out where Pioneer's at. I've been looking at, been interested in seeing how way Pioneer, uh, the original one, and I think 10 and 11 or whatever. And the idea of those numbers mean things. That's not just, you know, Pioneer was the first one, Pioneer 1, Pioneer 1, 2, 3, 4. And yes, there's an emblem out there in space so that if anything runs into it, that it would be able to see with images that mankind is here on Earth. And it even gives a roadmap to where we're at. Which, if that was smarter or not, who knows? So here's C3 recently behind, and then basically I'll blow it up a little bit. And I'm sorry that basically I just can't get to the other links right now of the, what I showed you on Venus. They do not like having a private person go in what we're supposed to do. We, sh we should not be cut off at all. But you look at the 27th at the 24 hour 100 hour i think is what i was showing you and then also today at 8 30 on any movies and anything you can get a hold of and screenshot and video and save as much as you can because i just showed you a gigantic volcano or uh objects colliding and it wasn't a cme there is a cme out there gigantic cmes from the super giants so let me see if i can quickly get in here i'm just trying to burn time to get a fifth total 15 minute video uh, I got solar space. I had that up, but I was trying to get back into now what electrically we're going to be able to, I'm going to, and what basically I have reasons that, yes, and they don't like that talking because I'm a very intelligent electrician, ladies and gentlemen, okay, and they do not want me to speak about what I know, and I know the fine line not to go into of what, but I can always talk about the electrical end of it and not the communications, okay. So I know a lot of electrical secrets that I know that I have to keep hushed up for my country's security, okay? But electrical and just electrical magnification and what the space is doing and so forth and so on, my theories and pretty much they're exact because we have seen the tale of uh, comment. Uh, and you can just read this comments here. I'm just trying to fill time. And there is your... What we know to be Northern Lights, folks, and way more because the idea that we are 60,000 miles an hour or faster and the idea that the Earth is probably rotating faster than it ever has in mankind's known.
because basically if I go to, I'll be able to finish up, we'll go to my site and see how close we are to the sun. All time closeness to the sun recorded in man's history. And the sun's getting, Karasov's complaining, suck shit.